ladies and gentlemen, this is the road trip from Jersey City to Philadelphia. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am in New Jersey and in this next video, I'm gonna really be traveling with Travel Dave and doing a road trip to Philadelphia via Atlantic City. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notifications so you don't miss future videos. And if you're liking this one, give it a thumbs up. Our first stop in New Jersey is Sam AM and Rachel has brought us for breakfast and given us a lovely little spread. Haven't you Rachel? Thank you. Hi. It's a proper little local spot. Thank you Enjoying breakfast, much. Travel Dave? Always, always. So like I said, we are kicking things off in New Jersey and last night we arrived in Nohu rooftop restaurant, part of the Marriott Hotel, which has an incredible view over Manhattan. That was some welcome. We had food and drinks there. Then we checked into the Western Jersey City, a beautiful hotel where I had a lovely corner room with a bath, again with incredible views. The views over New York and Manhattan from New Jersey are incredible. And you can just hop across on the ferries. This is a really good option for seeing New York. You can stay in New Jersey, feel the vibe, feel the Jersey love. Uh, anyway, we're in Liberty State Park now where you can actually hop on to a ferry to the Statue of Liberty from here. And then they have a Twin Towers Memorial Zoo. It's a really nice park. Great way to kick off our trip, our road trip from New Jersey to Philadelphia. Like I said, I am traveling with a familiar face. Travel Dave, UK, over there. Excuse me, I'm trying to enjoy the view here. It's quite a spectacular view. Are you excited, mate? Oh yeah, good to be back on the road again. Our next stop is American Dream, a huge entertainment complex which mixes a variety of things to do with retail and dining. We've just been to a theme park and done the Shell Razor roller coaster which was pretty intense. There's a water park, there is a ski slope and obviously loads of shops, loads of things for kids. You could easily spend a whole day here. Very, very fun place. So naturally being a road trip, we've driven down from New Jersey. It's about an hour and a half drive. Sadly, we didn't have ages in New Jersey, but we have now come to the Grand Cascades Lodge. And this is one epic room. I mean, it just goes on and on. There's tons of stuff to do here, but the weather has come in. It's chucking it down with rain and we're supposed to go ax throwing. So you can do that here, but we're not gonna do that here. But people are in the pool. There is a pool just there. A big old golf course, so there's clearly a lot to explore in this resort. So we've just done the forest bathing at Grand Cascades Lodge and we're now on a nature walk, but sadly the weather has been unkind to us. The forest bathing is a, a way to connect with nature and we walk through the little trail. There are some beautiful golf courses here. So the West Sussex area of New Jersey is known for its golf courses, its Lynx courses. So make sure you take a look at those. There's a couple of huge lodges. It's known for soft adventure, horse riding. So usually you can do loads here. Sadly, because of the weather, we can't. But we are off to Atlantic City next and we have managed to see this beautiful destination to the next place. Right, the weather has now improved. The driving conditions are much better, thankfully, and we are on our way to Atlantic City. I just thought I would say a little word of warning when hiring a car in America. There are always some hidden extra costs, so be aware of them. Make sure you check everything out in advance so you know what to expect, so you don't get stung when you take the car back, because we are picking the car. We picked the car up from Newark, and we are dropping it off in Philadelphia Airport. Fingers crossed for no extra fee. Another travel tip, if, if you don't have a driving license, find someone who does. <laughs> We have now arrived in Atlantic City after that terrible weather, but the sun is out. Look at how much of a gorgeous day it is. Anyway, the first thing we're doing is going outlet shopping. Definitely something you need to do in America, and particularly in Atlantic City. We've just been told the shops here are much cheaper than in New York. Dave has already purchased himself a pair of shoes. Boom. We've kindly been given a voucher to spend, uh, courtesy of the tourism board. 
So we are going to go and spend that now and then we're gonna have dinner and explore Atlantic City, potentially hit up a little casino, who knows. We've actually timed this road trip to be in Atlantic City on a Saturday night. We're going to dinner at Caesars, the famous Caesars Palace. The last time I think I went to a Caesars Palace was in Vegas 12 years ago. Let's see how this one compares. I have gone for the Porterhouse, which is apparently the best steak in New Jersey. chance of seeing them so hopefully we spot some We've got Atlantic City behind me there it's gonna be a good old day so I was about to say we're at Chef Bowler's which is a proper one-of-a-kind restaurant in Atlantic City this is somewhere you have to try and book in advance uh, loads of history fantastic food real old-school vibe to it uh, we've just had our food delivered now there's a lot of it as you can see from Dave's face, he's rather excited. Oh, I got the reaction. I got the immediate reaction. Oh. All right, our time in Atlantic City is coming to an end. It is golden hour on the beach. Uh, we've both just been talking about how much it surprised us. There's definitely some misconceptions about this place. Uh, and I urge you to add it to your road trip between New Jersey and Philly because yeah we've been surprised the dinner we've just had two amazing dinners actually the one we just had is probably one of the best i've had in a long time and i've got my little bag of goodies here from the outlet shopping center yeah thumbs up on atlantic city all right good morning we left atlantic city this morning we left the sheraton that is a great hotel very very central to all the shops and we have now come to cape may and I'm pretty excited about our next activity. We're going parasailing with a water sports company that does tons and tons of different activities. And we're about to meet the crew now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. All right, we are heading up on parasailing. We've come to about 400 feet, they reckon. It's, we're not quite there yet, but we will be soon. Got Cape May behind us. You enjoying it, Dave? It's such a beautiful way to see the coast from up here above. I feel like a little bit of a, like a bird or something. <laughs> Who needs a drone, eh? Bird's it's eye quite, view. It's quite, it's quite romantic as yeah. well. Definitely something I'd recommend to do with a date rather than with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That was a pretty cool way to start our trip in Cape May. We saw dolphins at, as well as parasailing and really close. So proper coming up to the boat and around. So there's a lot of dolphins we've seen on this trip so far. Right off the back of parasailing, we've come to Cape May Winery and we have a very special tasting session straight from the barrel. And we're, I believe we're about to go and taste the red. Is that right? What type of red? Cabernet Sauvignon. just checked into our place in Cape May. This is definitely one of the more unique places I've ever stayed. This is Mansion House. Look at that. Let me give you a room tour. This is our dinner location for tonight, the Virginia. So this morning we checked out of Southern Mansion, a beautiful B&B or boutique hotel with a lot of cool history, a lot of cool furniture. Love my room. We're now at Revolution Rail. We're about to take one of these 
through the countryside on a little tour. Right, the bike have stopped at what they call a hidden gem of a nature reserve, Cape Island Creek. So it's a beautiful spot, a nice place for butterfly migrations, turtles, snapping turtles. Love a wildlife walk. We've only got 20 minutes here, so we're having a quick walk around. But yeah, if you want a hidden gem, this is the one apparently. So that concludes part one of this road trip in New Jersey from Cape May. We will be heading to Philadelphia and Valley Forge. If you're enjoying this video, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications and the thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Look out for part two and happy travels.